So hi, welcome to the Good Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And we're here with... I'm Indy G. And we're asking him some questions today about his new EP, River House. So congrats on that, by the way. How do you feel about those sponsors so far? Thank you, thank you. It's been really awesome, actually. I've got a lot of really good feedback. Um, a lot of people are really hyped about it. Um, it's been a little minute since I released like music, so like a lot of people were like, man, I've really been waiting for some new music from Indy G. So it feels really good to finally have something out. Hell yeah. Um, sure. Really I really positive. like the EP. <laughs> EP's very good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so is there any meaning behind the EP title or cover art? Um, so the title itself is I've actually named. It's the same name as, as my um, apartment complex that I used to live at. Mm-hmm. It was the um, apartment like where I, I finished writing the project itself. And um, a lot of like the production of it was done there. I named it that because like... um. For one, I feel like it kind of like matched the feel. I'm like, I like, I like to think of it like as like a chapter of my life. Mm-hmm. Just like it over, um, it represents like the overall like feel and like theme of like things going on. So yeah, I thought it would uh encapsulate just like the theme of the songs in general. That's sick. That's good. I like that a lot. And then the cover art. The cover art, um. We took the picture like in a during a photo shoot that we did uh, when I was out in LA a few months ago. Um, we actually like hopped in the backyard of some random person's house and like snuck by their pool. And um, he was like, "Go stand by that chair." And I was like, I went over there and took a picture of it, and like it turned out pretty cool. So like, I think um, it kind of like fits the theme. Like it looks like something that'd be called River House. I, like, yeah, the for pool sure. area and it's, like the whole greenery. Like it's a it's a vibe. That's badass. That's cool. Yeah. Did you tell the yeah. person, like, after everything was said and done, where you're like, "Hey, by the way, I hope you're okay with I I used the background for for my art." Oh, um, I really wanted to. Like, I I kind of want like whoever's house that it's like know that like yo your backyard is in there. So like I might like see if um someone can reach out to like whoever owns that place. I'm like let them know. Just mail them yeah. a copy of the record. <laughs> exactly. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that'd be really awesome. Like signed and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about your writing process for the CP? Sure. Um, so a lot of these songs are actually like pretty old. Like I started writing maybe the, the oldest one is like maybe like two years old. So it's like a kind of a collection of like different songs that like I had been like kind of working on and like adding to like throughout like over the couple of years. Mm-hmm. And um, I just kind of wanted them all to have like the same like theme like um they're all like kind of heartbreak or like love related and like it kind of tells a story like of, overall like the whole project so i kind of wanted it to be like um you can listen to it and like maybe relate to it in like your own certain way just like different parts of it mm-hmm. maybe like if someone's in um going through like some sort of heartbreak or like or in a relationship they can okay. like find pieces of it and like kind of like feel like, yeah i feel that i can relate yeah. to this right here oh yeah yeah perfect uh, so i want you to tell us your favorite lyric off this ep and the meaning behind it Ooh. Mm-hmm. lyric in general um ah, it's gonna be hard i have so many yeah <laughs> i think i like in um what is it, dancing with your silhouette i like the lyric uh flower in your hair wasn't hard to get attached <laughs> so like um i like flowers the flowers are really cool <laughs> they are <laughs> yeah um yeah i think that's um that line is a is a bar um let me see and also um heart attack there's a part where i said uh I gotta think of. I gotta replay the song in my head. It's all good. <laughs> it's like I'm falling yet again. I'll take a breath and count to ten. I'm paralyzed, but in my head, I'm moving fast. It's like um, I really like the wordplay on that mm-hmm. that part, that verse. It's like um, like the rhyme scheme is really good, but like also it's like, I feel like it really like shows like my own uh like state of mind during like the writing of that song. Mm-hmm like there's a lot going on like in my head but like outside I'm just like kind of calm like you can't really see like just like from the outside like again 
Yeah. That is a good lyric. That is good. That's yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> um, so can you tell us a little bit about like where your headspace is at while you're writing the CP? Sure. Um, there's, um, I, f- I feel like it's like a, a wide range. Like I would say it's a pretty like, uh, a wide range of emotions from like beginning to end. Mm-hmm. And like, since it was like written over like the course of like maybe like a year or two, there was like different like times where I was like, this is what I want to put in a song. And then like yeah. another time where it was like, I want to put this in a song, but it's like kind of the opposite feeling. So like, um, a lot of it is like, not necessarily like based off of like what I went through or like what I was going through, but like really just like stories related to like something that I could relate to oh. and like feel at the time. Yeah. So, um, I'm with, um, well, like me and my girlfriend, we, um, uh, been together for a little over a year now. Um, the song Hampton, I feel like shows a lot about like how like me and her like interact with each other and like there's a lot of good times but like it's not always good times there's always like some there's like some swings in here like here and there like Mm -hmm. I thought you know it'd be good to like kind of keep that um keep it honest and like you know kind of show it all so like Mm -hmm. I feel like in that song is like some highs some really good highs and like also like brings light to the lows as well hell yeah. yeah perfect so how do you recommend your fans to listen to this EP for the first time? Should I play it in the car with friends, dark with headphones on? Is it party EP, workout EP? What do you personally recommend? I think for the first time, you should definitely like listen to it by yourself mm-hmm. um, to get the full experience of it. But um, there's definitely some songs in it that I feel like, yeah, definitely blast that like in your car. Like yeah. um, Heart Attack, that's like definitely a windows down, like full volume. Blast that, same for Soul um i still want you like um definitely alone in your bed like at night yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. like vibing yeah hell yeah getting your feels a little bit definitely sure. covered a wide yeah. gamut of emotions on here yeah um, yeah for sure so can you tell us oh fuck i'm all <laughs> over the place um so this question should be super super quick off the top of your head i want you to describe the cp for new listeners in three words no more no less fire feelings raw Perfect. <laughs> I was really hoping you would keep with the f theme yeah I, uh, you're so close <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about it but i couldn't think of another f word um fire feelings um falling falling okay, okay. okay. we'll yeah. take that perfect yeah. perfect <laughs> uh, so in the same vein as the last question but not as much pressure is there a certain feeling or emotion you want this ep to invoke in your listeners um i think listeners can like get out a lot of things from it and um a lot of it is like up for like interpretation and like you can take out from it like what um what you feel is the most beneficial or like most easiest <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah and in, in general not really not like any specific emotion just like here's Here's some feelings. Do with it what you will. What you will. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Just whatever they connect with, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Basically. Uh, so, what is your favorite memory that you made while creating the CP? I would say shooting the videos. Um, there's three videos that we did for um, we did one for Hampton, Dancing with Your Silhouette, and Soul. I can't really say which one was my favorite to shoot because they were all like really fun to shoot and like had a good That's time. Good. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, shooting the videos for sure. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Uh, so for this question, boom, you're on tour. You're at a gas station for a rest stop. You're going in. What is your snack of choice? Um, Lifesaver gummies. Ah, <laughs> uh, taste. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah do, oh. I'm a sucker for um, gummy candies, like anything like um, fruity and sweet mm-hmm. and gummy. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll destroy all of that. <laughs> Um, so on the topic of food, if the project was a dish, what dish would the project be and why? I think it would be some chicken alfredo. Ooh. A big bowl of chicken alfredo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> with what drink? Coke, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That fits. That fits. Yeah. Uh, so for these last couple of questions, we're going to shift away from music, if that's okay with you. Yeah, for sure. Six. Cool. So we're actually going to go straight to death row. Boom. So oh. if you're on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? Oh, it's a big one. Mm-hmm. Um, a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, with a uh, strawberry lemonade. With Taste. That. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I'm just a, a sucker for chicken bacon ranch like anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you could live in one fiction world for a week, where would you live? A fictional world? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if y'all watched Naruto, but I would love to live in um, uh, the Leaf Village. Yeah. <laughs> My brother loves it, so I know almost everything about it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, me and my girlfriend are currently watching the series. I watched mm-hmm. it like way back then, but I'm like rewatching it, and like we're in Shippuden now, and so mm-hmm. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to be a ninja. Um, you know, go on missions with um Sasuke and all that. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, so I have the honor of asking the last question. Every single person we've spoken to has actually said it is the most important question. What is your favorite color? Oh, mm-hmm. teal. Teal. That's yeah. a good color. Nice. It's yeah. a very good color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, so as Glory said, that's all the questions we have today. Is there anything that you would like to plug? Um, For sure, the EP. Listen to River House if you haven't already. It's a banger. Mm-hmm. Um, great is. music. Um, uh, follow my girlfriend on Instagram. It's all. <laughs> What is it? Electra Tyson. Electra underscore okay. fying. Electra underscore fying. Like electrifying, but mm-hmm. with underscore in the middle of it. So right. give her a follow. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. It's perfect. It's All right. Perfect. Uh, well, thank you for now. That's been Indie G, and we have been the Good Noise Podcast. <laughs>